So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet border onto the edges of a piece of fabric. So this is where you are not actually working into the tops of stitches that are easily identifiable, but you're working into um, the sides of a row. So in this particular pattern, what we've got is um, rows We've got a couple of scenarios. We've got some rows that start are starting with a starting chain over chain two. We've got some rows where the edge is a double crochet or UK treble. We've got some rows that are extended single crochets, which is the UK extended double. So we've got a, a couple of different scenarios. And then of course, when you um, work the, the same, this is the edge of a, of a sleeve of a, of a vest top um, that edge will this has got a, sl a, a nice trim that I've put on there but one edge to the other depending on whether it's right side wrong side it's going to look slightly different so I'm just going to show you the ba the various scenarios that you might come across so when I'm doing this single crochet or UK double I just want a really neat border along here for this particular, for my gauge, I need to place two single crochet stitches into every one of these uh, double crochet or UK treble stitches. And for each one of these extended single crochets or extended double crochets, I need to put in one single crochet. So if you're purely concentrating on looking at these very edge very very edge stitches here it can get slightly confusing as to what you're actually working into because as I said some of them are chains some of them are actually proper stitches uh, and so forth so you always need to make sure your eyes track along to the rest of the row just to confirm what what it is you're actually working into so presuming that you have actually crocheted this piece yourself <laughs> you will remember hopefully what stitches and what the stitch sequence was and as I said for my gauge I need to put two double crochets into the side um, of each of these stitches so I'm coming up to this I've already put two in there and I'm coming up to this next section here which um, is actually starts with a chain two so I still need to put two in there and the trick is I don't know if you can just about hit see the chain here is that I'm never working around the entirety of whatever stitch is on the edge there. I'm always trying to catch two parts of that stitch. So in the case of a chain that's facing me like this, that's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna literally stick my hook through the middle of that first chain and make a single crochet or a UK double. And then because, as I said, for my gauge, I need two stitches, I'm then just gonna put the hook into the next chain. So obviously this is not how you would normally crochet into um, a stitch, but for the edges, we need to catch part of the stitch rather than go through the whole thing. So this is a full double crochet post on this edge here, and I'll show you what happens if you go all the way around it. If I put two stitches all the way around that, what I end up with is this big hole here, which is not very attractive and doesn't give a particularly particularly professional look. What I want to do instead is evenly space my two single crochets or two UK doubles actually into the post itself. So here I think I'm just going to go into this and obviously there's a bit of um, you know you can just do whatever you think looks good. I'm just going to literally dig poke the hook into the middle of the base of the post and then do one single crochet or one UK double and then the next bit I'm going to catch this little leg here and then maybe one of the strands from the back so I've always got two and that's the trick to getting it to look so I'll do a, uh, the next one uh, so this one so if you if you're just purely concentrating on these edge stitches it's sometimes quite difficult to see what you're working with so here I, I came to it I thought oh I'm not sure what that is I'm just going to track along the row and then I can quickly see actually that is 
the row where I do an extended single crochet or an extended double crochet for UK. And that is, that's the start of the row and that's a chain one I did there. So I'm literally going to poke my hook through the middle of that chain one. So what you can see there is by splitting the post instead of working around the post, you get a much, much neater finish without a really big hole. Um, it just looks it just looks nicer and also it stops those stitches sliding along. It actually anchors them in because you're actually putting them into the post rather than around it. So I'll just do a few more here. I've got another double crochet or UK treble row. So I'm just going to go into the base of the post, picking up two stitches. And then the next bit I'm going to pick up this strand here and then one at the back. So that's two. I've got another, this is part of a shell stitch, but it starts off, for all intents and purposes, it is a, a double crochet or UK treble, but starts with a chain two. So I'm going to pop one stitch into the first chain two and one stitch into the second chain two. So obviously if you were working on the other side of this, um, you would be working into the backs of these chains but the same principle applies you, you would just be trying to pick up poke the hook through two parts catching two strands of the chain and also here for example we're working into the back of these double crochet stitches same principle pick up two strands there single crochet and then the next stitch you could make a decision it's useful to tilt the work forward as well I think I would put a stitch there so it's the same principle, the stitches will just look slightly different because you're working into the back of them rather than the front. So again here a double crochet, I'm going to go into this bottom bit, catch two strands. And then the second part, second stitch I'm going to put there and there in those two bits. Here's another extended single, I'm going to pop my hook through the chain. A little bit tight sometimes, but Personally, I think it's well worth the effort. You've just got to be careful about reading the stitches because obviously you want a even, I might actually pop that one in there. And you know, as you come along to each, the end of each of these rows, you can just make a decision about where you're gonna be putting your two stitches. And Keep taking a look at what you're doing as well. So don't just blindly go ahead. Just keep checking. Are you happy with how that looks? And I think that looks pretty good actually compared to raw edge. Nice edge with a nice border. 